So welcome again and let's look on some queries. So the first one is payment to farmers. So let's have a look at it. So let's go to design. First of all, we have the ID now, the product, the cost package, the quantity, the total price and the payment method. So this query, it identifies the payment method to the farmer as described in the question. So let's have a look. So first of all in cost package, let's look at a builder. So if product is equal to honey, then the price will be 900 as described in the question. Honey products goes by 900 shillings, then B products go by 1200 shillings. So if product is equal to honey, then the price will be 900. If product equals to B products, the price will be 1200. Let's look at the total cost. So the total cost it will be the cost per kg multiplied by the quantity, the quantity of products bought. So let's go to another field. The payment method. So let's look at our expression. So the payment method is computed by so if the total price of which is the cost package is multiplied by the quantity is less than twenty thousand, then the farmer is paid in cash. But if the total price which is also the cost package multiplied by the quantity is from the range of 20,000 to 80,000, then the farmer is paid by mobile money transfer. Then if the total price, which is the cost per kg multiplied by the quantity is greater than 80,000, then the farmer is paid by electronic funds transfer. So let's run, let's run, then have a look at it. So. So let's play with these values. So let's change here to honey products. You see, it has, it has changed. Eh? It has changed here. So let's play with the quantity to see whether the payment method varies. changes eh? okay so let's go to another one here honey the price changes yeah you see yeah the payment method has changed here Let's go to here. Let's press B products. Let's play the quantity 500 mobile money transfer. B products here to honey. Let's change to quantity there. So the total price is that one. yeah so that's how you go about it let's have a query let's go to another query the cells so in the cells query this computer it computes the total out total income for the sales member so first of all you will have to select the item sold the quantity, the price per item. So, so this query computes the price per item, total price, and the total income. 
so the total income from the sales will be the total the price from the item sold and the price from the services this total income here it will be the summation of the cost of the service and the total price of the item sold so let's have a look at it from the design view so price per item so price per item is if item sold is single package then the its price it will be 15000 then if item sold is mini package the price is 120000 if item sold is full package then the price will be 190000 then if item sold is accessories its price will be 2500 then if item sold is honey extractors its price will be 13000 if item sold is harvesting kits then the price is 600 shillings so on the total price it will be the quantity times the price per item so let's go to total income so i uh, know let's go to cost of the service so under the cost of the service so if services is a training the price for training services is 700 shillings services there's no training then it's zero so let's have so and then the total income will be the summation which will be the sum of the total price and the cost of the services so let's run it let's run it so you see it has run under so let's play with these values here let's fill our items sold as accessories you see the price per item and the total price huh? so here let's put training it will be the sum of the cost and the total price here let it be training to see sir so here let's put harvesting kit harvesting kit is 600 then the total price is the multiplication of price per item and the quantity which is 3 multiplied by 600 which is 1800 shillings let's fill in the service the service training and training service 7000 so total income will be 7000 plus 1800 which is 8800 so our formula is out let's save our query so let's go to trainees so under trainees here it's just verification of the status eh? so verification use if function so let's go to builder so if p paid is yes then approved if p paid is no not approved just as simple as that so let's run this tutorial let's save so let's run so you see we have if yes it's approved so let's play with it let's change to no not approved to yes it's approved so that's just simple as that so let's go to transport services so to transport services first we have the id farmer's name item transported quantity distance transport cost uh, so let's look at our expressions in design view so first of all the transport cost is calculated so transport cost is calculated if the item transported is single package then the transport cost will be calculated by 2000 multiplied by the quantity then if item transported is mini package the price will be calculated by 20 shillings multiplied by its distance eh? the distance covered by the vehicle then if the item transported is full package the transport cost will be calculated by 25 multiplied by the distance 
then if item transported is accessories then the transport cost will be calculated by that multiplied by quantity then if item transported is honey extractors then the transport cost will be calculated by 100 multiplied by quantity then if item transported is harvesting kits then transport cost will be calculated by 30 multiplied by quantity uh, let's go to another part another part total income so having done that total income is simple so total income total income made from transport So total income made from transport it's the transport cost huh? yeah. for a single farm so for the so if you want to calculate the total income for all farmers we'll do that in the report huh? we'll see that from the report so that's all about the queries Thank you very much. Stay stay tuned. Next we're going to touch on form some.